from cookingwithkimberly.com and this is cooking like alpha beta pi. Tonight I'm going to show you something different than what I usually do. I usually teach you guys how to eat something, okay? How to cook something to eat. But tonight I'm going to teach you a basic drink and that is lemonade. What could be better than homemade lemonade? I don't know. Super simple. Three ingredients. One is water, one is sugar, and one is lemons. Okay? Super simple. I do add a lime, but you don't have to do that. That's just my little, you know, signature. So hey, lemonade isn't just great to drink lemonade. You can drink lemonade with all kinds of things. You can beef up your lemonade with all kinds of different flavors, raspberry and I don't know. You can use bitters like uh, these bad boys here. You can use grapefruit bitters and orange bitters and lemon bitters and lime bitters. Put that in there or you can mix it with alcohol. I know college kids, they be drinking. Sorry, they do, I used to too. And uh, it's a great mix and it's like tastes way better than buying that carton of, you know, I'm not gonna say the name of it, but the carton of lemonade that just, you know, doesn't cut it and it just, whatever. This is gonna make everything taste fabulous or you can just drink it on your own. Yes, citrus fruit is very good for your immune system. Of course it is, but aside from the obvious um, lemon juice that you're going to ingest while you're putting this into your drink, I want you to make sure that you zest these lemons and your lime if you're using a lime. And not necessarily for this, but for other things. You can put your lemon zest in sugars and make them taste like lemon. You can put them in teas. You can put them in sachets in your drawers. You can um, crust meat and put that in the dredging flour. Man, there's unlimited uses to the zest. And it's just such an awesome, flavorful ingredient that is right here and you're just gonna throw it away. So what I do is I usually just take one of, uh, take your little, you know, your grater, but it's this size, it's that one, and you just wash them, wash them with warm water and some soap, okay? And uh, then you're just gonna go around with this grater and make sure that you get that outer layer of that peel. Now, you don't want any of the pith, and the pith is the white stuff. So you know, you have, you have the yellow outer, outer bit, and that has all the oil in it and stuff. But you don't want that pith, the pith is bitter. You don't get the pith, so you just want to get that top bit. Now you can use a peeler if you want to, but peelers tend to take off a lot of that pith, it's just too thick, right? So you can use it if you want to, if you like it to be bitter, then go ahead, but I really don't. This is going to, um, I'm gonna do this for all three lemons and my lime, and you'll see me when I get back after that. Now I'm just finishing off my last bit. I, I like to put my lemon zest in one plate to dry if you're not gonna use it right away. I like to dry it out. I just leave it on my counter overnight. It dries up real nice. And then you have a nice crumbly lemon zest. So instead of having to add lemon juice to things, you can just add that lemon flavor. But I like to keep my lime zest and my lemon zest separate just because I can. I can. And uh, if I ever wanna use lime zest for something specifically, because lime and lemon taste very different, don't they? So I like to do that as well. Um, this is super. You can also put this in your bathtub. Talk about aromatherapy. What makes you feel better than citrus and more refreshed? You know what I mean? Especially in springtime, you're just finishing all this awful, horrible winter. I guess it'd be great in winter too for to combat those blues, those winter blues. Anyway, this is what I do and that's how I roll. And then what you're gonna do is you're left with um, your the citrus fruit with out that fine outer peel right so you just have that pith and that's fine and it's it holds together enough the um, half of the citrus so you can juice it without it all falling apart right so I'm gonna show you the zest actually so that's what my lemon zest looks like and that's my lime zest and I just leave that out on my counter dry and now I can use it for something amazing later Okay, don't waste it, it's right there, you already bought it. It's right there, man, and you can't buy that. You can't actually go to the store and buy a lemon zest. Not happening. Okay, so my next thing is, I like to grab these citrus fruit and I roll them slightly. I don't wanna squish them and break them, but I wanna roll them just to make sure that inside it's nice and juicy and kinda loose, so that when I do use that juicer, it's ready to go. Okay, now that's done. Sharp knife, slice it in half. Remember you saw one of these at your mom's house? I'm sure you've used it many times over the years. Hopefully you have. 
If not, it's a simple juicer and you gotta put some elbow, elbow grease in. Relax, you're all right. But I like pulp, not everyone likes pulp. So I like to put as much pulp as I possibly can in mine. And what that means is I have to pick through my pulp with all these darn seeds. Now some lemons come with a million seeds and some come with like two. The funny thing that I've been noticing lately, and I don't know if you have too, is I've been noticing when I cut my lemon in half and I juice them, one half of the lemon has like a bunch, a whole bunch of seeds, like 15, 20 seeds, and then the other half has not one. Kind of strange, I've been noticing that lately in all of our stuff. Strange, strange. Anyway, so you're just gonna juice this. You have to, I mean, you gotta use your hands, and literally you gotta use a spoon, and that's kind of a pain in the booty. So just go ahead and pick out those seeds, because you don't want to put that in your lemonade, and you got them all floating. Because then, for sure, you're gonna get a million of them in your cup, right? So then as you go, put it in your pitcher. I'm using a giant pitcher. I call this a double pitcher, okay? That's like a gallon. And uh, I'm just going to repeat that with my lemons and my lime. So as soon as I'm done juicing that, I'll be back again. So now that I'm through doing that, I've discarded those peels. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some sugar or whatever sweetener you like. Now, if you want to use honey, you can. I don't really use honey. It's kind of expensive. I think it's unnecessary, and I think it would kind of change the flavor of what I want. So we use just plain old regular sugar, okay? You can use raw sugar if you want to, but this is what we use. And for a gallon pitcher, I use about one and a half cups, maybe just short of that, just shy of that. So, and then... All it is is some water. So I've got a gallon of my filtered water. We use reverse osmosis here. In it goes. If you want it to be colder or you need to cool it down faster, you may put ice cubes in here, throw it in your fridge, whatever, whatever. Stir it up. Make sure you do a quick taste test to um, ensure that, you know, it's up to your standards of sweetness. Okay, now don't forget, you can't go back from sweetness, so don't add too much. You would be better off to add too little and then add more if you need it. So let's have a little taste. Ready? Mm. To me, there's nothing better than homemade lemonade. It's such a comfort food to me. My mom always has made that for my entire life. So you guys need to know how to do that too. And your friends will love you in the summer. This is like the best thing ever. Plus it's better than drinking all that pop or even drinking alcohol. Got me? Sometimes you get, it will just cure that craving that you have for something tangy and delicious. That's it right there. All right, everybody. So that's how you make homemade lemonade. And this is Cooking Like Alpha Beta Pi. I'm Kimberly Edwards from cookingwithkimberly.com. Now I can't put my lid on here. Jeez Louise, it's stuck. It's okay. Um, I'm from cookingwithkimberly.com. I hope you follow me on Twitter at cookingwithkime with a capital E. I hope you like the fan page. It's facebook.com slash cookingwithkimberly. My, my shows are on youtube.com slash cookingwithkimberly. And my site is cookingwithkimberly.com. Make sure you check out alphabetapie.com. That's it. That's all. Be a champ in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye. Tell me who you're looking at, you do this to yourself.